Hi, this is Arvid Sims from Keysight Technologies here at European Microwave in Milan. And right now here I have a radar target uh, simulator set up also with interference. So here I have a radar device using here as DOT and I'm simulating a target. So this remote head here is an active up-down converter. It takes the radar wave down, converts it to an IF frequency. Then we add other parameters for the target, like the delay, the Doppler, RCS, and then we can see a target. So right now we are simulating a target at 30 meters. So this is here the interface of the TI device, and it shows a target at the 30 meters, so you can see here the peak. So, what is now different here is the interference. Because the problem with interference is an interference signal at the same frequency can disturb your radar functionality and you need to be safe that your radar is immune to interference. The idea here is to inject an interference signal at the IF level. So here we are using uh, AWG, the M8195A AWG, and it can give you an interference signal of like 5 gigahertz of bandwidth and I'm combining the radar target simulator signal together with the interference signal at IF level with a combiner and then I up convert both signals again here on the remote head and send it back to the device. We are automating the target simulator and the AWG together with our own test sequencer called TAP so right now I'm setting up the RTS and the AWG. I simulate some targets at different uh, distances. And then I have a target at 30 meters and then I will inject continuous wave interference and FMCW interference at different frequencies and power levels. And then the target will get lost because the noise is too much, the input channel is saturated and we will lose the target. And nowadays the problem is if you're a radar manufacturer, you could say, I don't care about interference because I just have the highest output power. And if people keep doing so, we will run into problems with radars not functioning inside the car. And therefore, Keysight here offers this solution to test your design against interference issues.